Hey guys, Odin here, the coach of Davos Rainbow Six, and I'm here to recap the Taiwan League playoffs in this edition of the After Action Report. After playing through the regular season, we ended up with the second seed coming into the playoffs. Our first match was in the semi finals against Ordinary Zion in a best of five. Coming into the matchup, we were confident. The first map was Coastline, where we came up swinging on defense and finished off with a nice defense to take the map 7 3. This performance was expected. We did well. There were some rounds where we didn't do as well as we used to, but I think it was a good performance overall. The following maps were Villa and Bank, where the results were different, but we took Villa 7 3 and Bank 7 4 to take the series 3 0 and move into the grand finals against Velocity 9. Velocity 9 throughout the Taiwan League have been our biggest opponents, so we knew it would be a tough match. We came into the series on taking our first map Clopas 7 1 and our second map Oregon 7 2. So, you can see that you can see that you can 好啦,最关键的人来了,这一波能够抓几只,就是一个能够换到几个人,没有办法,皮卡直接趴着等你啊。Map 3 and 4, Savadocity 9 pick up momentum and take both maps 7 5 to tie up the series 2 2. Villa was the final map of the series, where we ended up going back and forth in a closely contested overtime. 而且伊卡原本从单边线被迫要拉回来一起伊卡只剩三发还好这个位置直接被倒下而且那很关键因为金库那个位置非常非常多的手榴弹不断的在丢进来伊卡无能为力手上只有这一把枪没有办法来抗